Hi everyone, this is just a follow-up video to the exemplar paper that I'm doing. I wasn't 100% happy with how I was trying to get across the remove duplicate. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just without looking at code, I'm just going to explain to you what is actually happening. So this was the question. They wanted us to remove the duplicates from array names in such a way that we only keep the highest scores in the parallel array. So there are two arrays, there's array names. What I've got here... <coughs> Sorry, is I've got the values from the array. So that's what's in array names currently, and that's the scores that correspond to each person. And the way array du uh, remove duplicates algorithm works is it checks that value with every single other value, and the moment it finds a match like that, it stops looking. And so what would normally happen is it go, okay, uh, so nearly there's a there's a match so it would stop looking so then it would move to this record and it would check that little block with everything else and we don't find another Sunella so that would be the final occurrence of Sunella so then Sunella's name would be put over here Mklanga. so that's what would happen but we need to do it in such a way that we keep track of the scores as well so I'm going to manually do what that algorithm is doing so first of all when we find a, a unique occurrence, all we're doing is putting that name and that score into array names with no duplicates and array scores with no duplicates. But if we do find a duplicate, we need to make sure that we swap the score so that the highest score is always the last value. So that when we put the last value into the array names, it will be the highest one. Okay, so let me explain. Sunella so will compare itself with the rest of the array. So that will compare itself with all of those values. And as you can see, the first time it pops up there, Sunella, so it's found another occurrence. So because it found a duplicate, let's go over here and check. Is of those two scores, is the last one the biggest one? Yes, it is. So we don't do anything. Now I move to Sunella, that one, that record over there. And I check that with everything else. We don't find another Sunella. So that means all we do, whenever we find that there's no more duplicates with the rest of the array, we go and we put those values in there. So there we've got our name, to make this a bit bigger, and the score. Great. Now we move to Simon. I check Simon with the rest of the array. Do we see any other Simons? No, I don't. So that's the final occurrence of it. So I take that score, I'm going to copy it into our two arrays the array names with no duplicates and the scores with no duplicates we now check helen with the rest of the array i don't see any helens so therefore we're going to take that score and paste it into the the no duplicates combo then i'm looking at michelle there's no other michelle's there in the rest of the array so we're going to take michelle's score and put that straight into our array with no duplicates okay so yeah we've got some duplicates going okay so yeah we check heights hints Hulrich. so when i check Hulrich, we check straight away there's another Hulrich. we check which of those two scores is the bigger the first one's the bigger so we actually want to make this a three nine six five we want to make it the biggest value there i don't know why it's doing that to a number so let's just make a text let's make this whole block text so that doesn't do that text there we go so there we go. So we've just changed that final value. So we found a duplicate. So only when we found duplicates and the score at the back is smaller that we change the score. So now we so then we move on. So now we check that record with the rest. And you can see straight away there's another. Again, there's a discrepancy there. We want the bigger score to be. So we're going to change that to 3965. Then I'm going to check that score with the rest. And I go, oh, there's another one. And so they are the same. So we, we can leave it like it is, or we can change it. It won't make a difference because they're exactly equal. So I don't do anything with 100 because I found another occurrence of it. <clears throat> then I go to Roland and I go and check the rest of the scores. There is another Roland. Now there is a score and there's a score that's the same. It does, they're not, this, this one's not bigger. It's exactly the same. So we leave it like it is. Gerard, we check Gerard for the rest of the array. There's another value. There's a 5,000 and there's a 1,3. That 5,000 is bigger than the 1,3, so we just leave it like it is. Henry, with the rest of the array, there's no other Henry, so we copy Henry and we paste him into our no duplicates because there's no other current of Henry. 
we get to Ulrich. We've come to another occurrence of Ulrich. I check Ulrich for the rest. There's no other Ulrichs in the rest. And because of all that swapping, we know that that last value is the biggest one for Ulrich. Then I've got a Sifiso. There's no other Sifisos here. So we're going to copy that value and put that into our array. Roland, there's no other Rolands in the database or in the list. So I'm going to take that score and put that in. And then I'm going to go Gerard for the rest. Ah, there is another Gerard over there. So we check is that that's a score is bigger than that score. So we want the bigger score to be at the end. So I'm going to change that to a 5662 so that it's the biggest of the two scores. Okay, it's the biggest, it's the biggest score is at the end now. Sue, we check Sue with the rest. There's no other Sue. So we're going to copy that and paste that in there. And then we got Frankie, Frankie, there's no other Frankie, so we're going to copy that and put that in. And then we're going to put Andrew with the rest of the array, and Andrew will be put in. And the rule with the remove duplicates, the last step is you will always put the last value in because there's nothing to compare it to, so that value will go in. So that's technically what that algorithm is doing. It's when it finds a duplicate, it makes sure that the highest score is in the last record because the only time we put values into the no duplicates array is when we have the last occurrence. So we're just making sure that that last value will always be the highest score. I hope that explains a little bit better. Um, so there we go. So that's basically what that remove duplicates algorithm is doing. It's a slight modification of the, the original algorithm. But it's um, the one that's going to not only remove duplicates, but make sure that the highest score is at the end.